One of the food giants is considering investing in a new market segment that consists of college students and working parents. The canned and frozen food portfolios are the two that the corporation is now examining. Several members of the board have mixed opinions about the nutritional value of the two categories. They therefore requested that the head of research department compare the two food categories that interest them, namely canned and frozen food. Let's take a look at this case. So the question before the board is which of the two is better in terms of nutrition, frozen or canned food products. Before delving deeper into the case, I would like to give you a brief outline about how the two processes are carried out industrially. Sterilization is heating of food product at very high temperature and holding it at that temperature for some time in order to destroy not just the microbial cells but also spores produced by these microbes. On the other hand, freezing is reducing the temperature of a food product almost instantaneously to a value where the food enters a glassy state so that water is not available for any sort of degradation reactions. Before the two processes, a pretreatment called blanching is carried out. The primary goal of blanching is to destroy enzymatic activity as you do not want quality losses associated with enzymes during storage. Temperature used for blanching is around 70 to 100 degrees Celsius. As at this temperature, you have maximum retention of heat-sensitive components including vitamin C. Vitamin C is therefore considered to be an indicator of blanching operations. In order to explain the quality losses associated with the two processes, I have made this table. When we talk about canned and food, frozen food products, quality losses are very similar. But the question is, at what stage do they undergo these losses? Firstly, you have loss of water-soluble vitamins and degradation of pigments. In case of canned food products, the loss is almost immediate during processing stage as the temperature used is high enough to destroy these heat sensitive constituents. When we talk about frozen foods, they undergo vitamin and pigment degradation during storage period, especially when there is temperature fluctuation. As far as oxidation is concerned, frozen foods are less susceptible to oxidative damages as water enters a glassy state and is not available for any sort of chemical or microbiological reactions. That's why you see it is low. In case of thermally processed foods, canned food products, oxidation may be triggered at higher temperatures. So, we can often say that quality changes is function of processing and storage conditions. In case of freezing, you have retention of fat-soluble components. Of course, in case of your uh, heat-treated product, it is a little less, but still there is retention of fat-soluble components like vitamin D, vitamin A. Having said that, how is the nutrient issue tackled in canning industry? Like we have decimal reduction time and Z values for microbial cells, we have decimal reduction time and Z values for flavors, vitamins and color. So Z value for nutrient destruction is much higher than the Z value for enzymes and microbial cells. This means that we require temperature much beyond 120 degrees Celsius for bringing equivalent reduction in the amount of nutrients present in your food product. So, uh, industries, they use this parameter to this, uh, optimize the canning process so that they 
are able to find the right time temperature combination for maximum retention of nutrients and maximum microbial destruction. This is done with the help of something called as Cook value. Just like we have process value to determine the efficiency of microbial cell death, we have something called as Cook value to ensure that we have maximum retention of nutrients in our food product. The aim of industry is to make this cook value as low as possible so that maximum quality or nutrient is retained. Now, one important aspect with regard to frozen food is that it is susceptible to something called as freezer burn, which deteriorates the nutrient content almost instantaneously due to destruction of cells. To summarize this case, we can say that if proper processing and storage conditions are followed, frozen foods enable better nutrient retention for prolonged duration. However, we cannot make a generalized statement that frozen foods are much more nutritious than canned food products as the concepts within canning industry are advanced enough to accommodate the nutrient loss cost. Thank you for staying with me through the video. In case you have any queries, please feel free to put them in the comment section and I'll get back at the earliest.